What's up, Legends? The Oversight Tournament starts tomorrow at 4 p.m. Pacific, which is 7 Eastern. And if you look at the infographic, you'll see that some teams have already qualified for Thursday's games, and you might see some notable absences from that list, like NRG and G2, but that is good news for us, so we'll be able to see them compete tomorrow. Today I want to talk to you guys about custom endings, and if you've been watching the ESA tournaments or the scrims, you'll notice some of the loading screens say custom endings in the top left, and I wonder if they're going to be using them during this tournament, or just let the normal endings play out. This is an old feature that Respawn has added and is continuing to work on and they requested it be tested out in tournaments and scrims. I asked a lot of the players in their streams how they felt about the custom endings, and the ones who answered all had the same response. The custom endings are great, as in the location of the final circles, but the way the zone operates and pulls, it's just not organic to the RNG of the game, so all the zone knowledge people have learned over the years is irrelevant. For example, in a normal ending, if you look at your map and you have the gray circle, and then you scan the beacon and then you get your green circle, if there is a section that overlaps, it's almost always guaranteed to pull in that direction. And if you're playing competitively, that's a huge advantage to know, because then you don't need to scan the next beacon because you already have an idea of where to rotate. But if you have a custom circle, the same rules won't apply. If you go back and look at land, there were a ton of repeat endings, and while it was still exciting, it's unfair to teams competing if the circle always ends on one side of the map. For example, if it always ends southeast and you're a northwest landing team, especially now with the new zone speed changes. This is Respawn's way of trying to make the endings more fair and more exciting. With custom endings, you have the potential to create a classic Apex ending every game. The final endings they choose could be like the corner of Skyhook or the wall on Stormpoint, places that can house a lot of teams and let them coexist, and then let utter chaos happen when they're all forced to exit their buildings at the same time. And in the case of Pro League, if you have 12 games, you can guarantee 12 unique endings, and you can keep it fresh for the viewing audience as well. Personally, I love the idea of custom endings. Pros judge the quality of scrims and tournaments based on how many teams are left in the end, and random circles are not perfect, which means teams will inevitably have to kill each other to find a good spot in that com-